Hey, what's up everybody? Gary McCready from HVAC Know It All. It's been a minute since I made a video. Just been really super, super busy. But what we're gonna do today is install some drain heaters on these outdoor heat pump units. Okay, so the reason that we need to put drain pan heaters on the bottom of the outdoor unit in a cold weather heat pump is because we have ice and frost that can build up on the coil in the heating mode. When it goes into defrost, what's gonna happen is all of this ice and frost is gonna melt. And where's it gonna go? Because of gravity, we have this pan here, it's all gonna end up here. And if it's cold outside, if it's below zero, below 32 degrees or below zero C, that water moisture can freeze up, okay? It can build, it can block the fan from moving. So a drain pan here is gonna melt that water and it's gonna exit out these holes here, right? That's what those holes are for, to drain any moisture or water that's there. Now, it's a fairly easy task to do this. We've gotta take the lid off, we gotta take the front cover off, and then we have to remove the fan. There's two screws and it's kind of sitting here on the coil like that. So once we remove those two screws, we can move this whole fan assembly out of the way and go and attach our uh, heater right to the bottom of this pan. So our heater basically just sits in here like this. There's a screw hole here that is perfect. And this piece here needs to get screwed to the down to the, the bottom of the, the base here. Now it says in the instructions that, that they want this piece underneath the coil but it's super hard to get it under the coil once we screw it down. So you just gotta do your best to make sure it's under there as best you can. We're fastened here and we are fastened there. And as you can see, this plate still is a little bit underneath the coil right there. So we're secure in place and now we have to run this wire. And one of the things that they give you here is a, they give you a zip tie with this piece here that you have to put through a one eighth hole and you have to drill that hole yourself. So what I'm doing instead is using a zip tie that has a screw hole in place and using a self-drilling screw to mount it up here. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So what I've done here instead of using this piece right here and drilling a one eighth hole is I've just used a zip tie with the hole already on it and zipped it right into the panel. So it's nice and tight against the panel. Here's the thermal piece. Now, I guess it could go in there to stay out of the weather but I think here would be best to sense the actual temperature of this cabinet rather than putting it in there. I mean, the heat of the compressor, even though it's insulated, could give off a little bit of heat in there and trick this thing. So it's probably best to stay in here. Now, I mean, I'd like some feedback if you guys have installed these pans on these Dakins and where you've put this, but the instructions show it to be in this cabinet. So I did go back to the drawing board a little on this one. I added two zip ties, one there, one there. And I took this up a little bit further and I'm zip tying it up here because I found it was dangling down near this. Now when we put the cover back on, the fan shroud will protect this wiring, right? But I wanted to make sure it was as close to here as possible. So now we're gonna go wire this up. Next, what we're gonna do is run the wiring through this notched out portion here that the fan wiring runs through. So we're gonna notch it through there with the fan wiring and it comes with a little piece of insulation that you put over top of this to hold the wiring down and there's a shroud protecting all the wiring from the fan blade itself right there and it's real simple to wire the black wire goes in there like so with the other black wire here with the other white wire at the top of the terminal block there's a small sticker saying it has a drain pan heater in the unit and what we're going to do is just a fix that probably somewhere up here. There's a new diagram that it comes with and we're gonna mount the diagram on the underside of the top panel. So that's pretty much it. Very, very easy install. All we gotta do is button this thing back up and turn the power back on, but the heater's in and as you see, all we had to do is take off the top, the side and remove this fan, which didn't take very long at all and the heater was in in no time. That's the video guys, happy HVACing.